didn't even hear that car drive up. That's because solar-powered engines are quiet. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, George. Five o'clock. If I put it in the oven right now, it'll be ready in plenty of time. Hey, while it cooks, we have time to play. Ah! Oh, another blackout. George, the oven's electric. My lasagna won't cook. Uh, I'd better warn Professor Wiseman we may be late. Or, or worse, lasagna-less. Oh, where did I leave it now? <laughs> There's no way on earth to cook without power. <laughs> George, that reflected sun is hot. <laughs> that reflected sun is hot. George, you may be a genius. <laughs> a pizza box keeps pizza warm, so it'll hold the heat. A hole to let the sun in. Glue on some plastic wrap to keep the heat from getting out again. And shiny aluminum foil to direct the sun's heat into the box. Fantastic! Angle it so the sun hits the lasagna. If the power comes back on, we can put it in the oven. But if it doesn't, I think it'll cook. Uh -huh. Hours later, guests arrived at the museum, which was the only building in the whole city with electricity. Ah, how do you have a lights and air conditioning? The whole city is without electricity. Ah, oh, the museum is now solar powered. Blackouts can't affect us. I'm sorry. Our power has been out all afternoon. I couldn't make a dessert. I know. Poor Dr. Levitt won't have her favorite birthday things. <coughs> Excuse me, Chef. Monkey finger. <gasps> it's hot. It's cooked. We made a solar cooker. Thank George <laughs> and the sun. Oh, thank you. Nothing could make this birthday more special than a solar lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice of you to teach him to drive the solar car. I thought you taught him. George! <laughs> George! George, come back with that expensive piece of car. 